So let's take a look at the tail of the tape. These two talented fighters both coming in with undefeated records. Levon Lewis, older by two years, taller by half an inch, weight almost identical, and the reach is pretty similar as well. A two-inch reach advantage for Lewis. Our referee for this one is Mark Smith in the octagon, set to get things right, underway. Alton, first round ready. Devon, ready? Fight's on. Levon Lewis and Alton Cunningham. Lewis landed a nice right hand right at the start of the fight there, about five seconds in. Using that reach advantage well. Only two inches, but two inches matters. And there's the right head kick that landed almost flush. Lewis in the gray trunks, Cunningham in the blue. Lewis, as we mentioned, trains with John Jones. He's got the tie clinch there. Cunningham up against the fence. Yeah, this is a really good start for Lewis. Maybe it's because of the fact he's been here before. I mean, this is, you know, the, the nerves play a big factor. People hear about octagon jitters, but when you're in here, which I have been here when I was on the Ultimate Fighter, you can hear every footstep. You hear the crowd, you hear, you hear everything, you know, and it can be very unsettling. So, you know, we see Alton getting off to a slow start here. Bavon putting it together nicely, putting together some nice combinations. Michael, that's such a great point. Have, having just gone to UFC 26 and watching that massive crowd and all those great fights, you don't hear what the fans are saying. You can hear your dad in the audience here at the Tough Absolutely. Gym. When I first got in the Ultimate Fight, you hear every step you take. You hear the floorboards. You know, it, it's crazy. So you hear yourself think almost, and it really can throw you off your game. And that's possibly what we're seeing here, or maybe just Bevon is the better guy. But we've certainly seen Alton get off to a slow start. And I've seen him fight before. He's a very explosive striker. Normally throws a lot more stuff. Well, it's surprising, too, because he's such an explosive nice athlete. elbow there. He, he said he wants to get in and out quickly. He doesn't want to take a lot of time in this fight. Well, you can see just looking at him, he's an explosive athlete. He's capable of jumping up through the air, nice and high landing, devastating flying knees. He's yet to really let it go in this fight. But as I say, taking nothing away from Bevon. Bevon doing a great job locking up with that tight clinch there, landing some nice knees to the body. Now pushes him up against the fence. Really working a nice game using a variety of techniques, not being predictable. A good portion of the two and a half minutes that have gone by so far have been like this, with Cunningham up against the fence with these guys locked up, and it clinches nice. and elbow lands elbow there, there. Lewis. This could be the end here. Has him on the ground. He's kind of locking in a rear naked choke from the looks of it. I can't really see, but he hasn't got any hooks in. He needs to get that right hook in. And Got the thumbs up from Cunningham. And Cunningham's not looking good here, though. He's getting back to his feet almost, but he's going to eat some shots from Bevon here. He's not. He's still in this. Ooh, eats a big Takes knee. Takes another knee, does another one, and that's it. And Cunningham looks to be annoyed at the referee, but realistically, the referee just saved Cunningham from taking more shots. They were big knees to the face, one to the body, one to the face. Kind of looked like he was wobbled was gonna go down, the referee stepped in. Cunningham did a nice job of getting to his feet, but once he got to his feet, didn't seem to be really defending himself. And then a couple of knees from Bavon Lewis just ended it. And that was a great performance by, by Bavon Lewis. It wasn't one punch that ended it, it was a clear domination from start to finish against a very, very good undefeated opponent in Alton Cunningham. Alton has a great future, but tonight was not his night. Bevan looked sharp, he looked fast, used a good variety of techniques, didn't hesitate pulling the trigger, killer instinct, everything Dana's looking for. We'll see here, big right hand. That was right at the start of the fight. Now we're going to take a look at the knee. And again, elbow as he breaks the clinch. Boom. Right here. This way, guys. Right that here, one was right kind of almost to the back of the head. There's the knee there that nearly put him down. And there's the finish. To the face, kind of covers up. There's another one and another. The referee stops in maybe a little early. Those eyes but roll back is, for a second. Yeah, the eyes definitely roll back. He kind of, you know, he was all over the place. He was on shaky feet. 
And this isn't a world title fight. There's no point taking unnecessary damage. Laura Sanko in the octagon now. Let's make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Smith has called a stop to this bout at three minutes and one second of round number one, declaring the winner by TKO, Bavon Lewis. Yeah!